All right, we are going to re uh, replace a pull cord, starting rope cord on this hand blower. I've removed the housing. I've removed the piece that was broken off and stuck in here. And now I'm going to take my new cord and I made a nice clean, fresh cut here. Some people like to melt it a bit and I'm going to find the place that the cord will go through and I'm going to get it to feed I think I'm going to get it that feed there there we go feed out here good I have an uh, extra cord in here but I'm going to end up cutting it off anyway so I take it down to the other end I tie my knot in it pulling it tight into the housing and just really making sure it fits nice down in there. Now what I want to do, I want to take this, you can use a pick or whatever it takes to get this, back out like this and I'm going to rotate this clockwise like this. until it gets tight and reaches the end of the spring. Once it's reached the end of the spring and it's too tight, I'm just gonna back it off one rotation. Ah, it slipped, okay. So let's do that again. Okay, I'm gonna back it off one rotation, so I'm gonna hold it. That is so that when you pull the cord out in the future, it doesn't go all the way to the end and uh, and pull and hit up against that spring. Then I'm gonna pull this out like this. And then I have, I can feed it back in and the spring will take it to where it wants to go. Okay, so I've got it loose. So I'm gonna just cut off a piece like this. I'm gonna take the old handle here. Oops, wrong one. And I'm going to feed this through here. And I'm going to pull it just, to, just so it has a little bit of tension on it. And I'll bring, bring this down, put the knot in. Tighten it up and I'll cut this off. But now I have the pull cord replaced. That's pro tips with Ryan.